Hey, Christ United Kids. So this week we've been talking about some special rules that God has given all of us. Um, at your house, when you break a rule, what happens? Hmm. Probably something happens. At my house, if our grades are not good or if someone talks back, then there are consequences to those to breaking those rules. Sometimes it means that you are grounded. Sometimes it means that you lose electronics. Sometimes, depending on the severity of it, there could be a lot more things that are taken away or, um, or that you're not able to do. Um, there are consequences when we don't follow the rules. And today we're gonna find out what happens when the Israelite people break God's commandments, okay? And so first, I want us to get our Bibles out and we're gonna turn to Exodus 24. We're gonna see what happens when Moses comes down from the mountain. He went to the mountain and God told him the 10 commandments, gave him the 10 commandments. And um, in Exodus 24, three, we're gonna see what the Israelites say when he comes back and tells them the rules. Exodus 24, three says, when Moses went and told the people all of the Lord's words and laws, they responded with one voice, thousands of people in this space. They all said, everything the Lord has said, we will do. Skip down to verse seven, it says, then he took the book of the covenant and read it to the people. And they responded, we will do everything the Lord has said, we will obey. So right away, um, the Israelite people, they wanna do what God says. They, God's given them 10 commandments and they are saying, we are going to obey him, all right? Then God calls Moses back up to the mountain. Skip down to verse 15, it says, when Moses went up to the mountain, this is so cool, guys. I want you to imagine it in your head. When Moses went up to the mountain, the cloud covered it. The glory of the Lord settled on Mount Sinai. For six days, the cloud covered the mountain. And on the seventh day, the Lord called Moses from within the cloud. To the Israelites, the glory of the Lord looked like a consuming fire on top of the mountain. Then Moses went to the cloud as he went up to the mountain and he stayed on the mountain for 40 days and 40 nights. So um, Moses is up there with God. God is giving him even more directions and more rules and laws to follow. Just he's being very detailed. He's spending time with Moses. He's teaching him so that Moses can then go and lead the people. All right, so our next few chapters are about the conversation that Moses and the Lord have. Um, I want you to skip to that chapter 32 though, Exodus 32. And I want you to see what the Israelite people do when Moses isn't there to lead them and to remind them of what God's laws are. They're not staying connected to God. They're not, they're not being reminded of this is what the rules are. This is what God says. So chapter 32, one, it says, when the people saw that Moses was so long in coming down from the mountain, they gathered around Aaron and said, come, make us gods who will go before us. As for this fellow Moses who brought us up out of Egypt, we don't even know what happened to him. Guys, it hasn't, it's hardly been a month. It may have only been a few weeks or maybe even a few days. We don't know where this was in the 40 days, but the people have already decided that they're gonna break commandment number two. What was it? Have no idols. Already, they're so ready to put something else in front of God. It says in verse two, Aaron answered them, take off the gold earrings that your wives, your sons, your daughters are wearing and bring them to me. So all of the people took off their earrings and brought them to Aaron. He took what they handed him and they made it into an idol cast into the shape of a calf, fashioned, with, fashioned it with a tool. Then they said, these are your gods, Israel, who brought you out of Egypt. They're saying that a calf, Something made from gold is what brought them out of Egypt. They're totally forgetting that God is the one who delivered them, that God has delivered them. Skip down to verse 19. It says, when Moses approached the camp, he saw the calf and the dancing, his anger burned and he threw the tablets out of his hands, breaking them into pieces at the foot of the mountain. He took the calf the people had made and burned it in the fire. And then he ground it into powder, scattered it on the water and made the Israelites drink it. Guys, there are consequences when we don't follow the rules. Now the consequences in this instant were super great. If you read on, you see that Moses actually called some of the people that followed God and, and sent them into the camps and had them kill people 
the consequence for them not following God was that, that they actually died. If you skip down to verse 34, 35, it says, and the Lord struck the people with the plague because they did, because of what they did with the calf Aaron had made. Guys, God is a big, huge God. God in our, in the next chapter, um, there's this awesome part where it says that God is kind and compassionate. He's slow to anger. He's talking to God and he's telling, I mean, he's talking to Moses and he's telling Moses, I am a kind and compassionate God. I am slow to anger, but I am a just God. And when you don't follow my rules, there are consequences. Just like there are consequences when we don't follow the rules that our parents give us or that our teachers give us or that our um, government gives us, there are consequences. And when we don't follow God's rules and we don't follow what God says in the Bible, there are consequences. Now, we are amazingly forgiven because Jesus took the ultimate sacrifice for us and died on the cross for our sins. So God wants to forgive us. God does forgive us, but there are still things that happen when we don't follow his rules. There are still going to be consequences. So today, I want us to make sure that we follow the rules because we know that God is God. He gave us these rules because he loves us so much. He gave us rules and put people in our lives to teach us right from wrong so that we can live lives that are holy and pleasing to him. So let's pray for that today. Dear Jesus, we thank you so much. God, we thank you that we live in a time where we are not killed or put to death when we break one of your laws. But God, we pray that we will take your laws and your rules seriously. We pray that we'll take your word and that we'll write it on our heart and that we will, we will make sure that our actions and our words are pleasing and holy to you, Lord. Help us to live like you want us to live today and help us to be a rule follower. Help us to follow the things that you say so that we can bring honor and glory to you. And all God's children said, amen. All right, guys. So tomorrow, the Big House Gang is getting together and they are going to be talking about um, the Ten Commandments. So make sure you're ready because you'll be able to participate. See you tomorrow.